Okay, great. Um, well, hello everyone. Uh, my name is May and the topic for my session is going to talk about mental upgrades and a little bit about my background and I have, it's something I haven't really started paying attention to. Uh, I had a really good photographic memory when I was a kid and maybe this has to do with being Chinese. You have to you know, just learn lots of different characters and they make you practice 3,000 characters before the age of 10. And so by the time I moved to Sweden, I have a habit of learning and remembering things. I never had to use bookmarks to reading books because I always remember what, you know, oh, oh, hi, some friends are coming in. And um, so that's something that came really naturally. And the first time I really struggled with memory, that was uh, when I was a first year student at university, I was dating this guy and we had a fight. And for the very first time, I realized, actually, I don't remember what I read. I need to use a bookmark. And um, that was really, really struggling with that. And obviously, as I, I grew up or later on realized, you know, there are lots of things that affect your memory, your cognitive ability, such as stress, or if you had an argument with someone, and that takes a lot of your mental energy. I'm thinking lots of us have read the book, you know, there are two systems in your mind, uh, how that affects how you store information, how that affects you. So before I actually start uh, delving in, into this topic, um, I would love for you guys to do some sharing. I, I don't know if we, we can do a breakout session, um, Michael, or maybe um, someone can help us, Max, that we maybe do a breakout session into maybe two, three people in a group and just share with each other that what are some of the most important things to you know your cognitive abilities some of those things that we all know and uh, yeah just share with each other see if we can do a breakout session do i have the ability to some people do breakout sessions what do you mean by breakout session uh you know on zoom they can send you to small groups of um two to three people and then you can just share and then you come back to the main room hmm. i have no idea how that works but i'm interested for sure if there if i need to be a host or is that some setting you need to set up before i'm not really sure otherwise you know we can just popcorn into the main room um yeah jeremy said reading um that's yeah that's great how, how about you guys just or do we need to unmute people for them to share how does this work who is the the host of this room um unmute there you go so uh, so feel free to share. Yeah, maybe people can just type their suit. Uh, yeah, great. So, um, what else do you guys think that would affect? Estuviste bien en ese momento que eras niña, estás bien ahora mismo. Respira profundamente. Hey. Dale un último abrazo a esta niña y llénate de su vitalidad, llénate de su energía, llénate de su vulnerabilidad, de su liviandad, de sus ganas de descubrir cosas nuevas, de su capacidad para asombrarse. Pues, Esa niña eres tú. Por más que hayas vivido hoy día, una adulta. Esa niña está dentro tuyo en todo momento. Ok, ¿puedo ir? Esa niña te necesita, necesita tu cariño, necesita tu amor, necesita tu, amor, necesita tu, amor, necesita tu validación, tu reconocimiento. Esa niña necesita saber que le importas. Ok, I'm muting people, I think you would. Um, 
So yes, the question was, what do you think are some of the factors that really affect your mental ability? Awareness. <laughs> yeah, coming up, um, nutrition, stress, sleep, yes. Mood, definitely. What else? Awareness training we have. Great. Mindset. I think, you know, lots of the different things we are all familiar with. I think it's almost like, you know, everyone knows that we should exercise, that we should eat, but exactly how do you do that? Uh, how do you incorporate that into your life that actually make a big difference? That's the thing we're going to talk about. And um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go through 10 of the keys to uh, your brain house, to your mental state. And then we can, uh, I would love for you guys to maybe share in the chat because I don't know how come maybe people need to unmute themselves if you want to speak and just add, add it on into the, yeah, this conversation is very interactive and very open. And um, yeah, just starting with nutrition, Tim said, um, if you, you are lacking in some, chemicals and there's the imbalance in your brain and that's definitely uh apart from you know this physical challenges there's definitely that and um some of the food that's really good for your brain i think we all know and uh, maybe you guys can have some guess at what that could be you know your mom told you to eat green vegetables and that's one of them. And other things like um, if your diet, yes, hydration definitely. And uh, if your diet allow it, uh, things like eating um, salmon or eggs or um, olive oils, um, you know, antioxidants like blueberries, um, avocado is supposed to be really good for your brain as well. Um, walnuts and dark chocolate. So those are just some of it and uh, to incorporate that into your diet. And if you have the opportunity to check um, brain nutrients or whether or not your brain is functioning correctly, or maybe there might be some additional nutrients that you need to take. Um, so that's also like number one to start with, a good diet. And um, I think we're talking about mindset. Uh, a lot about it is to have positive mindset and having positive mindset is whenever you have um, a negative uh, thought is to be aware of it and how to catch it. Uh, a personal favorite of mine is to do uh, the work, which is a really simple four steps uh, process. Um, by, by Byron Katie, and uh, I think some of you might be familiar with it. It's about assessing what's the statement, and is it true, and is it absolutely true? Uh, could the opposite also be the true? And you do uh, the the reverse the reverse of that because usually um, for everything. Uh, that we interpret of the reality, it's an, our stories. And that story may or may not. And that's like so once I could say, um, he, he's, a, he's an asshole. So I can say, is that statement true? Is it a hundred percent true? And has there been occasions where he isn't asshole? And I take the opposite of thinking maybe he isn't the asshole. I'm the one that's, you know, behaving in such a way. Is that true? Is that statement true? And I'm looking at how does having this story really affect my life? Say, if I hold a belief, the story that he's a really bad person, how is that affecting my life? Is it something that's positive for me? And what if I don't have this story, I have some, a different story. How would that affect my life? And then I can choose which story I rather want to implement in my life. So that's a good way of um, yeah, killing some of the negative souls 
because we all know that it's going to affect our life negatively, then why don't we choose a different narrative for the story we want to take? Um, another one about this is, uh, well, exercise. And uh, I think people, I, I was speaking for myself, if I have a competition coming up, if I have a big goal that uh, I want to achieve, that I would put in the work into it uh, for the fear of failure or something else, or maybe because I already paid for a big trip or a competition that I need to perform. Uh, however, when I'm traveling by myself, sometimes I don't get to exercise uh, on a regular basis. So getting exercise, sometimes the small things, um, starting small, thinking like if today I only exercise for one minute and then uh, making gradual improvements, tomorrow I'll do two minutes and that's a way of getting started. Um, something that I started doing uh, just to get things going in the morning is that uh, when I brush my teeth, uh, I also started brushing my teeth using my non-dominant hand, so I start brushing my teeth that makes me pay more attention. At the same time, I also do a reveillees in front of the mirror just to get, you know, get my day started. Because usually when you set the day up in a way where you are paying attention, you're exercising, you thinking all these good thoughts, um, it sets you on paths. How you do some, the small things usually also affecting how you do the big things. And what really helps is also to have a peer group, such as this one, where people uh, want to support each other, challenge each other, and also exchange information. And um, that's something uh, that that's, if you do not have a group there, I mean, um, this is a great place to start um, and other communities to look for those. And um, next one would be about having a clean environment. Um, since, since the lockdown, I've been cleaning every single room <laughs> in my house, uh, from the bathroom to the bedroom, uh, organizing things. And that's something that would also help declutter the brain, whether you do the Marie Kondo method or something else. Another thing I start doing is also, um, so for my phone, I turned uh, off all the notifications. And so only choose why I want to answer the phone, uh, apart from maybe Uber and things like that, but now we are not traveling anyways. And, um, and apart from turning off all the notification, I also put everything on dark mode um, and to eliminate as much distraction as possible. I also stopped checking phone first thing in the morning and it's a lot about removing the mental clutter. Uh, I also started something uh, recently, just about months ago, started with journaling. I think lots of people do that in the morning, but I personally chose to do it in the evenings just as a brain dump. Um, and um, yeah, and sleep. Um, personally, I, I started using a self-hypnosis app uh, to get myself, not only for sleep, but also for other things. Um, it's called Prime Mind. It's a company by a friend of mine. And I, I find it really, um, well, at least I feel like like I'm doing something for myself, so I'm really enjoying it. And they also have a special section for COVID-19, just coping with working from home, um, you know, everything to get your better exercise down and uh, things to do with, um, you know, preventing you getting into this different looping sort of having anxiety. Um, and I try to learn something new every day. So I schedule time for reading and doing research. And so that's something I personally tend to be an evening person. So I schedule my reading times so in the evenings, usually quite late. So when it's really quiet, no distraction. 
uh, everyone is different. Uh, actually, I really would love some, um, some you guys input and just how you guys are doing to help you elevate your mental state. And um, how do I do this? I'm mutual. Scott, he said, but say that. De repente él no, ¿no? Y tenía razón la otra persona. Entonces, it loses credibility. It's losing its power. Pierde el momentum. It starts to change. Y la gente, me encantaría decir que hay una marita mágica que como que cambia de un día para otro. Hay creencias que cambian de un día. Ok, I'm not sure what that was. Yeah, I would love to hear some you guys' input. China. China. Ayurveda, for example, you know Ayurveda. Ayurvedic medicine. A team to read, create. Um, so just so, I, can you repeat the question again? Because I've been actually having a pretty good time during this time and I want to share some of the things I'm doing. Yeah, so yeah, great. So the question is, what are some of the things you guys are doing to help you, um, you know, keep your brain healthy and to elevate your mental state? Because I think the state is so important to our actions and yeah. it, it dictates, the small things dictates our lives. Uh, it, it's gonna sound really corny, but somehow through this apocalypse, um, I got a free meditation from Oprah Winfrey and Deepak Chopra. <laughs> as like cliche as that is, it's like the 21 day like hope in a time of challenge. So I started off in the morning at eight in the morning with Oprah talking to me like right near my heart on my little phone saying, hello, it's Oprah. You're going to be okay today because hope <laughs> is stronger than fear. And da, 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 da. And then we're going to talk about Deepak. And then Deepak comes in with his like, let me talk to you in a very soothing Indian accent. <laughs> hope will overcome fear. And now you do the mantra Om Shanti Om for 20 minutes. And like, <laughs> like after that, I'm like, okay. And then I'm also, you know, I'm in recovery. I'm in a 12-step group. And so I actually talked to a person who's a friend of mine who I couldn't be more different. I'm, I'm in music and I, I've lo I can't have my studio in New York City right now. So I'm like wondering about employment. And he does construction. So we talk about how we are being of service to our community and our clients. Um, and then I, I have to take time. Like, I feel like time is like an inhale and an exhale. So I have to go, even if I have a million things on my list, like work for a little while and then go take a walk outside somewhere. And even if it's raining, you know, I got up at two in the morning the other night. I couldn't sleep because we're all messed up with, with the shelter in place. And I walked around in the in the quiet of the middle of the night in my neighborhood and it was so beautiful out like like things were animals were out things were happening so i really feel like for me it's about i meditate i've been praying for people and i i know that it sounds cliche as well but i've been praying for people who are really fucked up right now i mean not 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 in the hospital i mean that's obvious but people who are drinking too much People who are just in sorrow and don't know how to get out of sorrow. I've been really seeing them uh, whole. Uh, I've been visualizing them whole and joining in a lot of groups. Like there's so many online groups of people that are praying and meditating and playing music like this, like this global unit unconferences, you know, what you're doing, Mel, it's beautiful. So I'll shut up because it's, we each have such a short amount of time. I want to give you more time. So I, I <laughs> Well, I, I'm actually, Tim, I would love for you to share some of your nuggets, goat nuggets. <laughs> how, how do I unmute you? Yeah, so thanks, man. It's, uh, 
thank you for having this on. I love what you're doing, so thank you. Um, I love the conversation around, you know, what are we doing to sharpen our sword during this time, right? And so for me, like I'm, I'm in the mode of creation. I'm, I'm, I've got a wall full of post-it notes that I've just been taking concepts that I've been doing for the last 30 years and putting them out on, onto the wall to help create uh, programs and map out a different way of thinking. And it's been probably one of the most challenging um, mental activities I've ever done. Um, and I, I, I love this process of how to get super clear around an idea and then to go down into a variety of different layers and um, to explore the, the nuances of and the complexities of a concept. And, and just that alone is, I think, one, a great way to learn. And, and I certainly know that th there is a, a neuroplasticity component to it. Um, and the other piece of it is then linking the, the mental construct of the thoughts with the articulation of the language that you put to it, right? And so it, it's been a, a massively uh, rewarding process for me. Um, and that's kind of, you know, I'd say that that's what I've spent the lion's share of my day doing. And then in between those moments is movement. Like I'm a, I'm a huge fan of movement and the benefit of how movement impacts the ability to cognate, right? And um, the body is really what feeds the brain. And most people think, oh, I've, you know, I'm just going to walk around as a talking head. But I, I believe that you're, if the cleaner your body is, cleaner from toxins, cleaner from alignment, uh, cleaner from integrity, all of that, the, the sharper the connection can be with your thoughts and, and who you are. So um, I try to move like every 50 minutes. Yeah, I think, I think they said, you know, the optimal time, or at least we need to take a brain break every half hour, every 25 minutes or so. Um, and yeah, and uh, for what I've been reading, I only just started implanting myself for um, taking these breaks. There are um, things to do like breathing exercise, hydration. Um, yeah, just uh, those are the things that uh, we need to be doing um, in between breaks. I realize myself I'm not doing taking breaks as often as I should have. Uh, sometimes sitting in front of computer for hours <laughs> on the end without really taking a break. And then I realize, oh, on Thursday, I need to go take a bio break. And that's when it's a reminder. So uh, I just installed, um, you know, these apps, uh, Pomodoro kind of like apps. And sometimes if you don't take a break, you'll kill the tree or that kind of thing. <laughs> And if you want to give yourself a challenge, you can also put some money into it. That um, whether or not you do or what you don't do, what you say, and go to charities and as a donation. If you if you don't do what you say you're gonna do. Yeah, I would love to hear some more of you guys. What are the things you, are your personal strategies um, to keep yourself in a good state and focused and in mental flow? Um, I guess I'll, I'll say something. Sorry, I just dived into <laughs> to it. Uh, but I was following um, from the phone. But um, yeah, one of the strategies, I guess, was uh, I put it on my wall saying, I, I had a bunch of things happen, and I said, if there was a rock bottom, I found a pebble underneath it <laughs> to dive in. So all it is is going up, and essentially more of 
inwards focus of understanding, uh, um, I guess, motivations, philosophy. I wrote a manifesto piece over the last couple of days, more around how I was conjecturing global business flow and technology and things of interest, I suppose. And uh, just find some relevance and also go back to fitness and fair few things that I've been deferring on um, in absence of social distraction. Yeah, I see this is a really unique time that we can, we have the opportunity to design so much of our time in a way maybe we're, we're not able to do previously and really choose what things we want to get involved in. And um, I, I personally cleaned out so much of my distractions. And um, yeah, it's been feeling very scaled down life and it's been feeling really good. Okay, anybody else? I do something, hi, I'm Ahmed. I do something that um, I've been doing since uh, in the lockdown, uh, to meet regularly at the evening with a group of people to share what we're doing um, yeah, during the day and our goals for the next day. And it has been very helpful to keep um, any focused and productivity high and uh, to keep the mental health, things like that. And in between, what my daily routine is, is almost what everyone else uh, said about journaling and walking and meditating, uh, things like that. And it has been good up till now. Yeah, thanks for sharing. Um, I'm personally also in one of those uh, 21 day Deepak Chopra um, things and uh, I'm a little bit over a week into that and I've been enjoying it so far. And it's also something that I personally have picked up lots of things that I meant to do years ago. Uh, I think I came across the Deepak Chopra uh, meditation many years ago but never really decided to do it. And there's a few other things like that. Just now, I don't really have any excuse for not doing it. <laughs> you know, it's like that uh, that Beatles song, Let It Be. You know, when you find yourself in times of trouble, you turn to the sources that bring comfort, whatever they are. And I also feel like like I'm somewhat of a teacher at NYU and motivational speaker through my thing that I talked about. I also find like people need to uh, just give themselves a break and understand that everyone is going through a terribly unprecedentedly, you know, super conscious freak out. Like, like we're in a, you know, Carl Jung talked about that the collective mind, we're all connected, like roots under the earth, like trees that roots are all connected. We're all connected to a pandemic that is a global crisis. And so, you know, if somebody who's rational just goes off on you, like understand, you know, you can call them an asshole and say, I never want to talk to that friend again. But also understand that, that everyone on some level is sick and suffering right now. Even the healthiest among us, we're sick and suffering because we're watching people die tragically. Uh, and we're watching um, some governments handling it better than others, you know, and some places being, you know, some people being more protected because of wealth than others and, and all kinds of things. And it's bringing up a conversation about who we want to be now in the future as a species. Because Mother Earth is saying, oh, I've had a fever. Mother Earth is like, my oceans are warming, my head is melting, my ice caps, my my forests are burning and, and Mother Earth herself has said, who's this virus giving me this fever? Oh, human beings. So whoever lives, we, we are gonna emerge different in some way because we are like roots under the ground connected. Hustle. 
you know, we have all the time in the world, actually, because there's a new world emerging. So I will pass. I just had to say. Yes, thank you so much. Um, definitely, this is the opportunity to take things slowly, take a break and be really introspective. I really love what you share about uh, the importance of music and uh, music and movement. Um, so be aware of time. Now, now is uh, the 30 minutes bio break. So I would, um, it's something I start doing, I don't know if we were able to do it collectively, is that um, there's this jazz dance now um it's playstation game but they also have a mobile version so if you have that uh feel free we can start do a little dance during the break uh, just for a few minutes and um i'll see if i can share my screen maybe we can all log into the same dance room and um how do i do that share screen and does this work And if you have the app, you can try the room. Or just go to justdancenow.com. Think, let's see how do we do this. Yeah, I only tried this a couple of times and it was pretty fun. Oh, there seem to be some connection problems, so not able to do it. But I think we'll take a little stretching exercise just to get up and move around and a little bit. And um, um, the next session is a jam session. And um, we'll be playing some music and uh, doing some dancing.